The car may be a lightweight and Hyundai's entry-level model, but it's not to be underestimated. With some 20,000 new registrations per year, the i10 accounts for around one-fifth of Hyundai's total sales in Germany. The 2017 model year is the first time the city car is being offered with lane departure and forward collision warning systems. In terms of handling, Emanuel feels the i10 makes a good impression. He says it compensates for any bumps in the road, and the relatively small A-pillar makes for good visibility at the front. But at the back... Oh, yeah. He notes that the C-pillar is really very wide, which makes it easy to overlook things when backing up. Luckily, the new i10 is also available with rear parking sensors. Emmanuel says that when updating a model, the idea is usually change yes, but not too much, for fear of scaring off regular customers. But he feels Hyundai took this too much to heart because the engines are the same as for the previous model. His test car comes with a one-liter gasoline engine, the smallest one on offer. It puts out just 49 kilowatts or 67 horsepower, so it's not going to knock anyone's socks off, even if this Hyundai's really light. It takes the little runabout almost 15 seconds to make it from zero to 100 kilometers an hour, and its top speed is just 155 kilometers per hour. At the front, the i10 features Hyundai's cascading grille with LED daytime running lights integrated into it at some trim levels. Newly designed alloy rims also freshen up the car's look. Emanuel says up here, the seats are really comfy, even on long hauls. But his double says, move up. Better? Yeah, it's okay, he replies. Up here too. At the back, the rear fog lights and the rear bumpers echo the design of the lights at the front. And the trunk offers up to 1,046 liters of cargo space, with the rear seats folded down. On the steering wheel, you'll find buttons to operate the newly introduced safety systems, as well as the infotainment system. The peppy colors show Hyundai is mainly targeting younger customers. Where did I put the keys, Emmanuel wonders. Oh, <laughs> there they are. With the i10, Hyundai is placing lots of emphasis on safety features. A new multifunctional camera continuously transmits data to the forward collision and lane departure warning systems. When the car is in danger of running into something, the new i10 informs the driver both visually and acoustically, and at speeds of 60 kilometers an hour or more, an alarm will sound if the car inadvertently strays out of its lane. Emmanuel says at the end of the day, the i10 is a small but decent little car, which has undergone many small but decent changes. Now, if he could just stick it in his pocket, it'd be perfect. Hyundai's new i10 is a city car with a lot of equipment for a small price.